Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Soap. In today's project, I'm going to be making a loaf of coconut lime. This is the first time I've used this fragrance. I didn't even know I had it. It was sitting at the back of the shelf. I'm going to be using clear base today. I'm also going to be using liquid dye, which is in blue and yellow. I'm also going to be using ultra-fine shooting star glitter. My fragrance is coconut lime from Natural Candle Supply. So let's get started. So first of all, I've melted down 550 grams of clear base. The temperature is 121 degrees Fahrenheit. For my blue, it's 111 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna pour the yellow in first. I'm gonna spray that with rubbing alcohol. I've also put aside some goat's milk. This is just to make the swirl. I'm gonna spray that again with rubbing alcohol. Now I'm going to tip my blue in over the top. When the blue goes in and mixes with the yellow, it creates a green color. You can see that it's almost jelly towards the end. So I'm going to spray that with rubbing alcohol and add some more white in over the top of it. Because the temperature is under 130 degrees, they won't mix in together, creating this beautiful swirl effect. Okay, I'm going to spray that again with rubbing alcohol and just swirl it. At this stage, it looks like a nuclear reactor uh, toxic waste plant. Beautiful underneath. Now the next part I actually missed but I tipped in the rest of the blue that wasn't melted down. So in this section I'm just tipping what's left of the yellow in over the top of the blue which will fill up the rest of the loaf. I then spray it with rubbing alcohol and I use my bamboo skewer to do some swirls. As you can see that turned out pretty amazing. Okay so it's the next morning and I'm going to unmold this. But before I do, I'm just going to take this clear wrap off. So it basically protects it overnight from sweating. Okay, so when I first took this out of the mold, I couldn't get the grin off my face. I was just amazed that that color just turned out so perfect. And as you can see, all the little bits of glitter inside. I was really happy with it. I was just waiting to cut this up. Lots and lots of glitter over the top. Okay, so this turned out pretty amazing. I'm really, really happy with uh, the colors and the patterns and swirls and everything that came out of this. I couldn't have asked for a better color match for this fragrance. I think it just speaks volumes for the actual fragrance itself. Normally I would do something like a, a coconut color, brown, white, maybe even a cream, but the yellows and blues and the greens, just it just looks really nice. So what do you think? Did I get the colors right? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.